Hi guys, Olga Sabi here. Today I'm kind of showing off my new haircut. And lately I have been all about experimenting with different pouring mediums, recipes, premix paints and all that. And I just feel like I want to lean back, go back to my comfort zone for a moment and just enjoy. So my comfort zone is floral and water mixtures. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. My colors are gonna be mixed with floor troll and water to the consistency. Yet, uh, I do want to try something new with the technique though. But before we get started, I'm very excited to tell you guys that this video is sponsored by the Skillshare. So if you're not familiar with it, Skillshare is a platform with 29,000 different classes on all kinds of topics, like from dessert cooking and sushi making to interior design, book writing, life coaching, and really so many different topics. And I am familiar with the platform because I took classes there on video editing for this channel. <laughs> and they also have a bunch of classes on acrylic pouring techniques, alcohol inks, resin, you know, all that good stuff. So if that sounds interesting to you as well, I'm going to include the link in the description um, it's my special link and if you sign up through it, you're gonna get two months of free membership and within those two months you can do as many classes as you want. So I think that's pretty cool. I think that's plenty of time to figure out if this is something for you or not. So go ahead, check it out and with that being said, I'm gonna get started with today's acrylic pour. The base layer is done and I added one drop of silicone to each of the colors. So today I'm gonna use a funnel. And I'm gonna try and drag it with the colors across the canvas. So I'm gonna start, I like to start in this corner. And I'm gonna start, start adding colors to the funnel while it's still, while it's touching the surface of the canvas. try and carefully lift it up. Maybe I want to add some white around it first. So I'm gonna lift it up and let and release a little bit of colors. Okay, yeah, something's happening. Oh yeah, I'm getting a lot of cells. Okay, I feel like I want to keep adding the white. This is really cool, so many cells. And I know there is more paint locked under the white, so I am gonna get probably more cells if I torch it. Kinda looks like a snake. <laughs> I didn't think about it when I was uh, picking those colors. Okay, no, I don't feel like tilting it much because I think it breaks the cells. So instead, I'm gonna try and blow the edges out. Thank you. 
You know what? I think this is actually really cool. I'm gonna turn it this way for you guys because I feel like this is the top. Uh, it's very different from what I normally do for my pores, but I think this effect with funnel turned out really cool. And what I liked about it is that I like uh, flip and drive technique when you work with a cup. It's um, final gives a lot more control like you can control much better where it does it go and how much paint you release while you travel in it across the canvas so i really like that and also i like that it gave me so many cells and yeah pretty cool let me know what you guys think about it and thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video bye bye